I am a Malaysian and uh, I was born and bred there and um, I am called a Malaysian Indian because of my descendants are from south part of India. Um, probably say I'm the eighth generation in Malaysia. Um, they would have come as an immigrant to work in uh, um, in the, I don't know, probably it's in the um, the plantation or something like that and uh, as far as we could trace back is our grandfather um, so I don't know I'm just assuming I'm the eighth generation but that's what we have been told to as kids. I did my first degree in Malaysia in public relations and I always loved mass, I've always loved mass communications and in mass communication you have four branches one is advertising, public relations, broadcasting and journalism um, and I'm always fond about journalism and broadcasting because I started off with public speaking as young as when I was nine years old. Um, so I've done public relations and my lecturers, my family, especially my sister, encouraged me to do journalism and broadcasting. So we were just surveying and researching at that time and Malaysian universities did offer me quite a good range of academic values but um, it didn't match as much as ECU did and um, second factor is that my second sister um, she lives here in Perth she's been a veteran here she's married to an Australian so that's why first of all my mom and my sister encouraged me to come over here because they've been always very particular um, I mean kind of like a uh, not pampered I would say but the curfews in my life are pretty high <laughs> so they're very clingy to me um, and so they were concerned to send me off to another country where nobody that I know lives um, so since my sister is here then they sent me off here and why ECU because as I said compared to other universities uh, during the time of me serving and researching I found that ECU has high value and academic um, I, I would say academic, um, I don't know how to put the word in, but um, broadcasting and journalism here is pretty good compared to other universities. So that's why I came over here. I am in my third year now, first semester. I have one more semester to go before I graduate. Um, so that means in a nutshell, I'm graduating end of this year. Um, and where I see myself after graduating is that I will be doing an internship next semester as part of one of my compulsory units. Um, and from there, probably I'm looking at working in a community paper or at the rest. Prashan has been so graceful with me, um, he's been so helpful, so cooperative and that one friend on campus, whenever I asked for her help, had never said a no to all my requests. So definitely one of my greatest friends that I will always cherish the, mem cherish the moments with. Um, thank you Prashan. Perth Western Australia, why? I wouldn't, let me be really honest here, I wouldn't say that Perth is the best place on earth for me, just simply because I am the last person to call out for traveling. I hate traveling, I haven't known the world much, I haven't traveled and explored the world much. So I would don't really say why, it's because obviously I live here, so Perth is a beautiful place on earth. Perth is just such laid back culture, I just love it. But what kept, why Cappuccino's trip is because, as I said once again, I used to work here and uh, that's how I got to know and I love the setting, the ambience, the environment, the people here and the entire culture itself and I'm a big time foodie so I love anywhere that is just filled with food so where there's food, there's fish.